$17,500. And this is what to get you. This is one of the most disturbing videos that I've seen in a minute, especially from the regular car builder who um trying to work hard, put their money together, and get their dreams completed. It's not a lot to say, but with this video, um, I've already seen a couple of issues with this shop. And just to give you a little, little background, this right here is one of the cars that have went to this shop. And once we got it back, we had to send it off to another shop to get all of these things fixed from this builder. And he's a highly respected builder for the most part. But we also had issues with this car going to the same shop. I'm, all I got to say is that this video is disturbing. It very disturbing to me. And I wanted to put it out there because y'all know that I'm going to put it out there. So check this out. I'm just going to play the video and leave in the comments what you think about it. Subscribe to the channel. Um, like the video, share the video, because it's time to put it out. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Now, you see this right here, what you did? This right here, man. That right here, this is supposed to start right there, bro. You see what I'm saying? It's supposed to start from here and come up. You know, from, you know what I'm saying? From there and go up. Look how far you started, mines. That's something like, what, what? That looks at least about two and a half inches away. And, and bro, why is my window? Look at this shit, man. Dude, you got, come on, homie. And then, bro, explain that right there. Bro, you telling me that you're the professional or you're expert at what you do, and I have faith and confidence and then you, but you give me that. You give me that, bro. I mean, I'm sure you, you, you know, you, uh, you are in uh, competition with these other guys, but Bro, they're outmatching you 100%. I mean, I told you I'm building lowriders, and you give me this. And then, I'll, and then I'm wondering, why come you didn't chop this off, man? You, dude, you didn't do shit clean. That, now look up in this area, you got uh, weird-ass metal chunks in there. It just looks ugly, man. It's an eyesore. But my major concern is that right there, bro. Anybody and everybody who knows who's into Cadillacs and knows the uh, Cadillac, you know, Lee, Lee Cabriolets, whether it's the original or, or, uh, or a custom conversion, it starts right there, bro, from here up. That's the standard. Of all people, you should know that. And you did, and you do, you give me this. And bro, let's look at the interior. Man, see this right here? What is that right there? This, and then, I, and then this latch is funky. Look, look what I'm looking at, bro. That looks unprofessional. I mean, I'm happy with the interior, bro. But, you know, what, what, what kind of burns me up is that after I had paid the guy or paid you for your services on your on your whole deal package, you know, it, it explained, oh, you know, you get your carpet, the interior, your leather, whatever, and your, your dash painted. And after I pay you guys, this is what I get. My dash, bro. You make me wonder what kind of business are you running, man? You guys got to take it serious, bro. Cause man, we put money in it, in these cars, and look at this, it, man. That's unacceptable. What the fuck is? I'm sorry for skirt. I'm not trying to curse, but damn, bro. Look at that, man. And then right now, oh god, I'm I'm not going to explain what's happening with that. And I don't know if you ever going to, are you going to come from my back window and cut that out anytime soon? Ragtop Barney? I mean, come on. Pause that for a second. There's no way in hell that car should have left the shop like that. No way in hell. I don't care what's going on. That car should not have ever, ever left the shop like that. I hope y'all can agree with me on that. I don't give a damn what situation is come up at the shop or what have you. That car should have never left the shop like that never seventeen thousand five hundred dollars and the car left the shop like that man let, let's keep going man bro you're not you're doing business backwards you know what i'm saying when, when they pay you you know you, you people are expecting you know a positive outcome well anyway man
this is what I'm talking about. If you can take care of that and do something with making the top reach all the way to where it's supposed to come to, I mean, grind down this exposed metal. Because, bro, right now, as it sits, you know, per your, um, your you know, your description of um, of your sales packages for, for, what, for what you're offering, it, it, it doesn't match. Because right now, I got the whole thing, the big package, and the car is not obviously ready for paint. So you got all kinds of miss, miss um, uh, what's the word? Um, you know, as far as uh, advertisement goes for your business, it just doesn't match. My car is nowhere near ready for paint, let alone do I have a complete interior and my top is all jacked up. And, bro, this right here. What, why is that rattling? Dude, that, and then I got this freaking, look at this, man. I could stick my fingers in here. How the fuck is that? God, dog, I'm, just, I'm not trying to cuss, man. Excuse that. Look at this window gap, man. Man, I could, dude. $17,500 later with the interior and this top you did for me? This gap, bro? Come on, man. This is cartoon stuff. So, man, I'm hoping you can fix this. Uh, because, uh, like I'm saying, I got a homegirl right now who's working on, you know, conjuring up a lawyer and whatnot. So I'm, I'm serious on my intentions. So I'm trying to offer you a solution. Bro, you got to fix this and make it right. That's all I'm saying. Holler at me. Let me know what you want to do. Peace. I'm out. So in this situation, what would you do? What are your thoughts? What what I'm I'm really honestly just lost for words on it. Um always always do a lot of research. Once you research, do some more research. Reach out to a lot of people. Uh find out what these shops are doing. Find out how their customer satisfaction is. Um t just 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 please research. If you like me, we spend a lot of money on these cars. And most of us ain't balling like that to just go and get stuff done and people feel scared so they're going to get your cars done and all of this stuff. But myself, I'm just a regular guy going through the same shit with my car. That's coming up. You'll, you'll learn about that real soon. But um, let me know in the comments what you think, um, how you feel about the situation, how would you handle the situation, and just... Y'all be careful out there dealing with these shops. That's why when when the when the conversation come up of built, not bought, all that's trash. If you got the money to buy your car already done and just do your touches to it, do it. Do it. Because you're depending on all these shops, and a lot of them you think have good reputations and don't. You're going to be put to the side just like everybody else complaining about when your goddamn car going to get fixed. That's it, man. I'm out. Toxic Rides. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Share it. Leave a comment. We want to get it out there. Peace out.